Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing what if Saturn's moons orbited Earth. So if you saw the previous video where we added Jupiter's moons we saw a total chaos unfolded. Earth could actually hold the four Galilean moons to begin with but as time went on their orbits started to bounce off each other and then only Io remained around the Earth roughly around the distance of the moon. But we're going to see today if Saturn's moons work a little better. Now I think they will because Saturn's moons are a lot smaller than the Galilean moons. I mean, the only big one is Titan. All of the other moons are way smaller than Europa around Jupiter. So this should be quite interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm quite curious to see if Earth can hang on to a little more moons than uh, it could around the Jupiter. So we'll run a few different experiment tests. But um, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, see what we uh, end up with. So Earth, obviously, we need to replace this with Saturn straight away. So let's go ahead and get Saturn. Let's do that. Okay, perfect. So we'll just click place so its orbit registers. Okay, cool. And then what we need to simply do here is add the moons to Saturn. So there we go. So as you can see straight away, there's a lot of moons in there. I'm very interested to see how this is going to pan out because there's a lot of inner moons there. And I think Earth could probably hold on to some of these. So this could be very interesting. There's Titan over there as well. So I think I think Earth has a good chance of actually looking after some of these moons and actually being out. I mean, anything further out than Iapetus, I don't think I don't think any of these are gonna survive. But I think all of the inner moons. I mean, everything up to at least Titan, or everything around here, I reckon these will have a good chance of uh, hanging on. So now all we need to simply do is replace, and then we put Earth, and there you go. So we're gonna see. So here we are. So can Earth hold on to all of these moons? There's Titan in the distance there. So we'll actually compare that. We'll actually throw the moon in just as a comparison as well. Um, we will delete it afterwards. But let's just quickly add the moon. So the moon would roughly sit here. So anything inside the orbit of the moon should be able to work quite well. So we can see Titan's obviously a lot further out. So will Earth be able to hold on to Titan? That will be interesting. But anything out to here. Maybe Rhea as well. That's a little further out than the moon. But they should be able to hang on. So that could be interesting. Right, anyways, let's uh, go ahead and give this a try. So let's just slow down time. Click play. Let's see what we got. Oh, what's happening here? Are they... Oh, oh, that doesn't... Ah, okay, I know what we need to do. Hang on. Let's try that again. Because the game is very, very strange. It looks like we're going to have to press auto orbit on a bunch of them for them to actually work. Very, very frustrating. I don't know why the game does that. I mean, we replaced it, so it should have all the characteristics of Saturn. But I guess uh, Earth had other plans. So we'll go ahead and do that again. So replace... Then we'll go Saturn. So Saturn. Then we simply just add the moons to it. Come on, Saturn. There you go. Add moons. Then replace. And then all we need to simply do is add Earth in. So add Earth. There you are. Okay. And then all of this, we just need to press Auto Orbit on, really. So all of these guys, I mean, let's just do that. And then... uh. Oh, oh, hey, hang on. Wasn't done there. Game, what are you doing, game? Oh, I'm trying to... Just... This select has always been very buggy. Yeah, it won't let me do it. Okay, so we're going to have to manually click on every single one of these as auto orbit, just so we can actually get them to work properly. So, uh, orbits... Okay, there we go. So we can see here... So in theory, all of these should be able to orbit fairly nicely. So we're going to see We're going to see how this, uh, how this works. So we've got Rhea as well. That's a far one. Yeah, we just have to manually add all of these, which is a bit annoying, but I mean, it is what it is. So, Dione as well. So, all of the inner moons of Saturn. I mean, I don't think any of the ones further out than Titan or Hyperion will really work. So, it's mainly going to be up to them. I mean, I'll be very interested if Titan can hang on, because that would be really cool. Hyperion, Iapetus, I mean, we can probably go out to that. But I'm going to, yeah, I don't, yeah, so we can already see it. anything further out than that is not going to work. So it's everything inside that area, as I predicted there. So it's definitely going to be uh, interesting to see how this plans out. So uh, Calypso over there, add auto orbit on there. Mimus is definitely one of the main ones we want to keep an eye on as well. We've got this one, is that all of them? I mean, I've uh, got Pan, there's a ton of the minor moons in here as well. So there you go. Pan. But in theory, we could probably throw Saturn's rings in here just for a bit of extra effect as well. So I think I will do that. That could be a little interesting. See if the rings get affected much. I mean, they should be fine though. So there we are. But I believe that is everything. 
in the inner Saturn system. So yeah, anything up there. I Apertus and further out, they won't work. So it's gonna be gonna be very interesting to see how this pans out. And then um, also I'm gonna add Saturn's rings just to see how that plays out. So Saturn's rings, uh, Saturn clouds. What's Saturn cloud? I've not seen that before. Saturn rings, and add to Earth. Voila. Okay, so there you go. So it's a full Saturn setup around Earth. So now we're gonna press play. We're gonna see how this works. So we're gonna keep an eye on the orbit straight away as well. Press play. And there you go. Okay, so how is this gonna work? Why is Enceladus flying away? What's that all about? Very, very weird how that works. I mean, did I not auto orbit? I don't know. Ah, oh, that's so annoying why it does that. Ah, oh, what is that all about? I mean, look, if I press, I bet you if I press auto orbit now, it will just. Yeah, that's so annoying. Why does it do that? I mean, we'll quickly just try and manually fix it and just throw it in there somewhere. I mean, that, that's really annoying. I don't know why the game does that. That's very, very frustrating. I mean, we're just going to remove Enceladus from the experiment. Just pretend it's there. I mean, there's plenty of other moons to give us an accurate representation. I don't get what happened with Pandora. Let's just get rid of these because these aren't... They're not playing ball, really, so... They're yeah, very frustrating. And this one as well, we'll just get rid of that. And that one as well. Okay, so here we are. So we can see roughly that everything up to Hyperion is orbiting Earth. Anything further out, like Iapetus and all of those guys, they've just orbited in the sun now because they're too far away from Earth. So we'll go ahead and uh, see how this plays out. So obviously the rings are going to make it a little slow, but yeah, oh well. Um, so there we are. Where's Mimus gone? Oh, there's Mimus. Okay. So Mimus is chilling there. Okay. Looking good. We'll just delete the rings now. I mean, yeah, there they go. It just runs so much smoother. So, so far, everything's looking pretty, pretty comfortable. But I think out here, Titan, I reckon Hyperion could break away with Titan's presence. I think Titan's going to be too massive for um, Hyperion to really stick around. So, there we are. But this is looking pretty good so far. So, if we uh, head to Earth, you can see... Um, if we head, yeah, Earth itself, you can see all the moons are chilling there. I mean, you can see them all... Uh, all going around. You can see Titan in the distance is the most distant of the large moons, so it is hanging on to Titan, which is pretty cool. Looking good. We can spot any of the other moons. You can see uh, there's um, one of them as well. Uh, let's just try and let's see, try and spot some of the bigger names. So there's Iapetus over there in the distance. So if that's not even orbiting Earth, so that one will uh, disappear after a while. So pretty cool. Uh, who else have we got nearby? But where's where's Mimus gone? There's Mimus. Okay, so you can see Mimus there. You've got Dion as well over there. Tethys, one of the other larger moons. Look at them. If you zoom out a bit, you've got Rhea. So there's Rhea. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Hyperion as well in the distance as well. Cool. That one's also broken away from Saturn. Or, uh, I said at Earth's orbit now. So, okay, interesting. So it's now speed up time. Watch this as it works. So Earth and Titan are now trying to set up a binary orbit. As Titan is going to... I reckon Titan's going to break away here. Yep, it's done. It's gone. Titan can't hang on to Earth. Iapetus, no idea what's just happened to you. I think it just got slingshot by Earth, actually. So, here we are. So, this is what remains now. So, we've got the inner moons of Saturn. So, everything with Rhea and Closer is still hanging on to Earth. We can see the orbits are slightly wobbling a bit, but... It seems to be uh, cooperating. And Titan is now a planet of its own. Now orbiting the sun there. So, that's pretty cool. So, let's uh, speed up time. Watch, uh, watch as it plays out. I mean, Titan could warm up, actually, a bit being this close to the sun, so that could be quite interesting. So, let's, uh, anyways, let's uh, keep going. But, yeah, the simulation's looking pretty pretty good, anything, so or pretty good. So, everything up to Rhea. So, I mean, yeah, if Enceladus was still here, it'd definitely be in the uh, mix there. It definitely wouldn't have had anything done to it. So, yeah, everything out to Rhea, all the Saturn's moons inside that Rhea area, they all seem to be orbiting Earth quite comfortably, because if you think about it, these moons are very small. I mean, the moon is a lot more massive than any of these. Or probably all of them combined, actually. I mean, Mimus here, I mean, it's a very small little world, as we can see here. So Earth would have no problem keeping this sort of moon in, in check, really. And it's the same of all the moons. I mean, Rhea is probably the largest out of all those, but, I mean, it's still only 0 0.12 Earth. So, I mean, it is actually smaller than the moon, I believe. So, yeah, 764. The moon is much larger than that so and me and the earth can keep all of these moons in check no problem at all anyway zooming out so we can see i'll see all the other moons they've all just become um orbiting the sun now titan has become the only one that would be a planet in this regard as well so we have a new planet in the solar system that's broken away from earth so i mean let's actually see if it can warm up only but it's zero degrees will it warm up nah it still gets too cold unfortunately nah it doesn't just doesn't have the uh atmosphere really or the uh the greenhouse effect to really get any temperature from the sun at this distance so pretty crazy 
So yeah, in Earth's orbit, yeah, it wouldn't be enough. You need to, I reckon if it was within Venus Mercury, it probably would get a bit of temperature, but it's just not really, yeah, it doesn't get the temperature at this distance. So there you are. But anyways, back to Earth. So let's just see how all the other moons are working. So as we can see, yeah, they're all perfectly, perfectly working in harmony, really. I mean, Rhea, they're slightly wobbling around, but they seem mostly stable. So we can run it as fast as, just try and go a little quicker. But you can see, yeah, all the moons up to Rhea. I mean, all of the, I mean, Rhea's the only one that's really, Having a big wobble, I and mean, all the other ones seem pretty consistent. I mean, I think everything inside this area here, so anything around Mimas's orbit, I think they're all cooperating very, very well. I mean, it's just the other moons are slightly wobbly, but I mean, that happens with um, this many moons, really. But yeah, they're all they're all working very, very well together, actually. So that's quite a pleasant surprise that yeah, Earth in theory can hold the inner moons of Saturn. I mean, the only reason it can't is because the Sun's gravity pulls them away. Um, in the in the solar system here. I mean, if Earth was further out from the Sun, it probably would work. So, pretty interesting. But yeah, there you are. So, looking good. And the Earth, yeah, perfectly perfectly working with the Sun, or perfectly working with Saturn's moons to keep them all in check. And yeah, or looking good. So they're all perfectly orbiting the Sun, nice and nice and normal now. So I mean, let's get a view of Earth from uh, Rhea, which is the furthest of the moons. I mean, yeah, looking good. So there's a, there's a nice view of Earth. So there you go. So the outermost of Earth's moons now, Rhea. Looking good. Nice. And then if we go to some of the closer moons to Earth, I mean, we'll actually we'll throw the moon in as well just to compare again. So the moon would be there. So you can see, yeah, the moon roughly fits in where, where the outer moons are. So you can see it. Yeah, it does fit pretty well. I mean, Rhea's a little further out than the moon, but the moon is pretty much in there. I mean, it is very, very similar in distance. So pretty good. Very, very good indeed. I mean, if we look at, um, where is it, Rhea? Um, if we actually check its distance from Earth, we should be able to see what it actually is. So, 1.46 months. Um, da -da -da -da. Major axis. We'll put that in at lunar distance. It's 1.38 lunar distances. So, only a little extra over the moon itself, actually. So, very, very good. Uh, nice. Anyways, back to Dion as well. Have a quick, uh, quick look from Dion, his uh, point of view as well. Looks like Dion has a different surface texture. I remember it being more green than that. Cool. Oh, I didn't know they updated the texture for Dion, but there you are, updated texture for Dion, apparently. Nice. So there's the Earth there, looking good. Nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, and let's actually have a look at uh, maybe one more. Where, where's good old Mimas? Let's have a nice view of uh, Earth from Mimas. So there it is, obviously a little closer, but there you are. Nice. And then from Earth's point of view as well, you should be able to spot some of the moons in orbit of Earth as well. So let's keep an eye. There's so many materials. Um, flying around. Let's go to uh, realistic lighting, actually. Uh, we're on a heart, so let's go to realistic, and we should only be able to see the moons that are actually close to Earth. So, there's one there. There's Dione. Okay, cool. Anyone else uh, Anyone else want to show up? i put labels on a little bit of... Uh... Okay, so she just... Okay, so who's that over there? It says Rhea. You can see that as well. So very, very distant and uh, dark and gloomy, but they are in there. They are in the mix. So just see if you can spot any of the moons. There's Rhea again there. But the other moons I'm having a hard time spotting, honestly. I mean... Anyone? There's, there's one there. Yeah, having a... There's, there's Teffy. See if we can spot Teffy. So Teffy's is there. Very, very hard to spot. I mean... There's one there. There's Dione again. I spotted that one. I think Mimus would be a challenge to spot just because it's really small. So there's Mimus there. I cannot even see it. I mean, I know roughly where it's... There, there it is can't even see it it's just that dark and dim <laughs> yeah the realistic mode does not mess around so enhanced there you go so there's a better view so you can see all the moons now so looking good but yeah there you are so that does it for the experiment of could earth support some of saturn's moons and the answer is yes in universe sandbox it can so yeah everything out to the orbit of Rhea it works it, it orbits the earth I and mean, they haven't got enough mass to really cause too much problems obviously we saw the moon further out which was tight and that was the next moon along that broke away probably because it's got enough of its own mass and the sun was obviously having a stronger pull on it as well so that completely broke away from the earth but other than that all of the inner moons of saturn i mean pretty much all of the major moons apart from titan and hyperion which broke away as well i mean they're all sitting perfectly happy around the earth which is very very cool um, actually, let's just speed up. It uh, looks like Earth is going to have a flyby of Titan. So let's see if there's any interaction at all, because its orbit is a little closer to the sun. So it should be able to catch Titan up eventually, as we can see here. It is getting closer. Is Titan going to have any interference? Let's see. 
It's re-approaching the Earth area. I mean, we should be able to spot Titan from the Earth system, actually. But there it is. Yeah, you can see it in the distance. There is Titan. So you can see it from Rhea's point of view. Titan is in the distance there. Looking good. Very, very nice. So we'll keep uh, orbits on. And then yeah, Earth will have a flyby of Titan and it will eventually uh, leave it behind once more. We can see Iapetus is getting close again. Any interaction with the Earth? Maybe it did. Maybe it got a little bounced off there, but there you are. Pretty cool. So yeah, that does it for the experiment, guys. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, should I uh, continue with Uranus and Neptune's videos? I think Uranus will have a very interesting experiment because those moons... They're obviously closer to the planet, and they're less massive, so they should be, I think, I think Uranus's moons will hold on very well, and Neptune's moons, I mean, Triton will be the big one in there, but yeah, we'll def I'll definitely, yeah, I think I will, I'll definitely do videos on, on those, so yeah, stay tuned for those guys, and you know, let's see if we can go for 50 likes on today's video, and if you enjoyed it, yep, make sure that like button, 50 likes, and also subscribe for more as well, guys, much, much appreciated, and yeah, really hope you enjoyed today's video, but with that all said and done, enough of me bounding on, make sure you have a great day, guys, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.